Hi there, this is LK Wong. Today I'm going to be showing you this new guitar from Solo King called the MS1 Custom. This guitar has 24 frets, a bolt-on neck, roasted maple neck, as you can see, beautifully tanned, and uh, it's got Solo King branded locking tuners, 24 stainless steel frets, the HSS uh, pickup configuration which are actually El Nico and uh, two-point floating tremolo bridge system five-way selector uh, switch as well as a single volume single tone and a toggle switch to engage the speed call on the bridge humbucker pickup this guitar is in a satin shell pink finish I believe check out how it sounds <laughs> So, uh, after playing this guitar for a while, uh, what I feel about it, honestly, for the money, I think for like, I think under 1,500 ringgit, for this kind of quality of guitar, I think it's a great, great guitar. Those who are starting out and uh, wanted to get a good guitar uh, under 1,500 ringgit, I think this is a pretty solidly built guitar, la, I think. At this kind of price range with stainless steel frets, I think it's an unbelievable value. Only thing, the cons I would say about this is that the stainless steel frets will feel a little bit rough when you're first playing it. But the, the good thing about it is that the more you play it, it sort of like smoothens out. So, you know, it keeps you playing more. Or if you want to, you need to send it to a tech to, you know, really polish it down. You know, really nice and smooth. Small nitpicking, I would say. The finishing of the, the, the paint, you know, the, cap, the pickup cavities here, you can see a little bit of like, you know, paint. Uh, smudging in the cavity, pick up cavities, but um, it's not really a big deal performance-wise, it's just um, about the tidiness of the finish only, like, it doesn't affect the sound or, or performance. Um, it's got a nice uh, chunky, I think it's a D, D profile, kind of neck, a little bit wide, but works well in my hands. Sounds pretty decent to me, I think. Yep. And this kind of price range, I think uh, it's a great project piece where you can actually like swap all the electronics later on and make it an even better sounding guitar. And all. But uh, I've got no really no complaints about the electronics so far. Yeah, check it out. See you soon.